A heads up, if you drive a car or truck here in San Diego County, Sandag may have some changes in store for you. They've come up with a new mileage tax and another sales tax. This could raise $163 billion, most of which would be directed to more buses and trolleys. KUSI's Dan Plant joins us now from the La Mesa Community Center, where a town hall meeting is taking place tonight. Dan, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, if you think that 163 billion is a big number, you're absolutely right. And I did a little bit of math and you know, all this is in the name of climate change, right? To try to pitch in and make sure that the climate is clean as we move forward for our kids and our grandkids. And everybody agrees with that. But if you take a look at that number, 163 billion and the philosophy that's being put out here, essentially getting people out of their cars and onto buses and trolleys here in San Diego, well then you start to really think about it. And if it's all about climate change, quite honestly, we could save about $160 billion by buying every single person in San Diego County an electric car. I did the math. Three million electric cars will cost $1.2 billion. $1.2 billion. That leaves about $161 billion to do other stuff if they're worried about the environment. But this is all about essentially social engineering and literally forcing people out of their cars, their behavior here in California, of course, this is a car state, this is a big state, and San Diego County, of course, is almost the size of Connecticut. So getting around San Diego County on a bus is not exactly like New York City, but apparently the philosophy that's going on right now is we're gonna turn it into New York City, which will, of course, never happen. So yes, tonight there will be a town hall meeting to talk about taxing you on every mile you drive and increasing the sales tax so they can buy more buses and more trolleys. Take a look. If you're one of the 97 percenters who drives a car every day for work, play or family, well, get ready. The ruling class of politicians currently here in San Diego have devised a new way to take more of your hard earned money. Well, basically, Sandag is coming up with another new regional transportation plan that basically throws the old one out that we're still paying taxes for and will continue to pay for it until 2048. But now they've got this new plan and they and they got to pay for it somehow. $163 billion transportation plan between now and 2050. And they, they need to wait, find out ways to do it. Never mind that California already has the highest gas taxes in America with some of the worst roads or that we already have a dedicated transportation sales tax called Transnet here in San Diego County. The politicians who run Sandag are hoping to tax you for every mile you drive. First of all, what they want to do is put a per mileage tax. So anytime you drive in San Diego County on a road, you're going to be tracked somehow and taxed for the amount of mileage that you, you drive. But wait, there is more. Along with tracking and taxing, they also want to add another sales tax to every single thing you buy here in San Diego. Another attempt at political social engineering to force the people out of their cars and onto those buses. What they're trying to do is change people's behavior with more taxes to get you to into transit. Currently, San Diego County, 3.5% of the people ride transit right now. Even if they tripled that, or multiply it times five, there's still 85 to 90% of the people are still gonna be in cars. And for those 97 to 98 percent who currently drive cars every day, this is a concept that is not being met with great enthusiasm, to say the least. I think it is a horrible idea. I think it is a, a regressive tax. It will hurt the working man much more than the middle class and upper classes. I think it's a disgusting idea. I don't agree because as it is, the gas is already high. They're already taxing us for everything else. And I'm sure they mean well, but it's a burden for, for drivers like me who drive almost every day, get, get to pay the tax for the gas and then another tax for the mileage. So it doesn't, it's not fair for us. I think taxing miles, uh, two cents per mile would be kind of ridiculous already that we pay California tax on our gas and we have the highest average in the country. Um, I think overall we could just use those funds to subsidize transportation for everyone. So if you're concerned about the mileage tax, contact your member of Sandag. They will be voting on that. As for the sales tax, that could be on the ballot and it will likely get there by union members who would be collecting signatures to qualify. 
So they're promising the unions all the jobs. The unions are trying to pass the tax. The union leaders are going to be, you know, get, get reap all the benefit. And then the politicians who are paid off by the unions are going to win as well. This is not a win for San Diego County residents or for the people who use the roads and freeways and transit today. All right. Well, Sandeg uh, sort of anonymously calls this the regional plan and the revised regional plan. And actually, if you go to the Sandeg website and you try to read what this is, you got to be a lawyer to even figure out what they're talking about. And that's probably part of the plan to confuse people, which is like kind of the ballot language when the ballot actually comes out, that the ballot measure doesn't really reflect what the actual ballot measure is because it's all being gerrymandered. But anyway, uh, that's another thing. So as a practical matter, yes, there will be a town hall meeting here tonight, La Mesa. That will be the first of many put on by Reform California, which is Carl DeMaio. And as a practical matter, tomorrow there will be a virtual meeting of Sandag members to essentially go over and approve this final plan. And then on December 10th, we understand will be the actual vote to rubber stamp this thing. And then by 2030, I guess, this is, you know, a lead time on this. By 2030, they'll have this mileage tax in place. And of course, by 2035 is the time when the state of California has outlawed selling gas powered cars. So it'll only be electric cars beyond that. So that's an interesting situation there. As for the sales tax, that will be on, first of all, the November 22 ballot, if they get enough signatures, and then they'll split it up and have it again on the, either the 26 or the 28 ballot to add another full penny to our sales tax. Once again, to go toward more buses, trolleys, and public transportation. And by the way, the ultimate goal from Sandag these days is to make public transportation entirely free for the entire community, which it almost is already, it's already subsidized to the point of about 80% by taxpayers' money and about 20% from the fares. So we're already paying for this. You know, might as well give the buses away for free. But of course, that creates another situation in terms of who actually is on these buses all day long, riding them back and forth for free. And that could create some other situations. Anyway, uh, tonight at La Mesa, first town hall, Carl DeMaio, Reform California. Want to be informed about these things. If nothing else going forward, we don't have a vote at Sandag. They're going to do whatever they want. But we do have a vote at the poll, and we do have a vote for the people we put in office. And we all have to remember that as we go forward. We're in La Mesa. Throw it back to you. And that's the key right there. If you don't like what's happening, well, you got to vote to change it. All right, Dan, we're going to check in with you next hour. Thank you.